Hello, everybody. We're back again. I'm Dr. Adenero Grace, and uh, I'm here. Dr. Hope. <laughs> yeah. So we are here today to talk about who is an endocrinologist and what their role. We are endocrinologists. So who is an endocrinologist? I know this is a kind of question that many people have been thinking of or asking that who are we and what do we actually do, right? Yeah, so an endocrinologist is a medical doctor. We are med medical doctors and we specialize in endocrinology. And by endocrinology, we mean the study of hormones and the organs that take care of these hormones. We have various hormones in our body that controls things that we do and how we act and every activities of our daily living. And uh, to mention the hormones we have from the brain, the pituitary gland that produces the pituitary hormones. This is actually your master gland. It controls basically all the hormones in your body. We also have the thyroid gland that produces your thyroid hormones, which is in your neck. The parathyroid hormone the, from the parathyroid gland. We have the pancreas that produces the insulin and glucagon. The adrenal gland that produces the cortisol, the aldosterone, and sex hormones. And uh, Dr. Hope, we, uh, we also talk about there are some other hormones right. that press you, right? Yes, yeah, so those include the neuroendocrine hormones, which are hormones that are related to the central nervous system that also have an effect on the various parts of your, your bodies and the various organ systems. So there are yeah. many hormones in the body and uh, all these hormones have an effect throughout your different organ systems. So just, they may come from one area, but they affect many areas of the body. So it's very you know important to really understand what these hormones do and how they can affect your bodily functions. Yes, that's very true. And uh, not just the hormones that we take care of, there are also other uh, health conditions that we manage as well, like the uncontrolled blood pressure. Well, and, mm -hmm. the uncontrolled blood pressure, but did you know that the uncontrolled blood pressure can also be related to hormones? So like the aldosterone can affect your blood pressure, and cortisol can also affect your blood pressure. And even uh, some thyroid hormones can affect blood pressure as well. So uh, these hormones really have significant effects that uh, we, you know, many people may not be aware of, but we just uh, would like to bring that out. Yeah, that's true. And um, there, this can include pheochromocytoma, uh, hyperaldosteronism, the Cushing's disease as well, right? Right. Uh, that's great. And so aside from uncontrolled blood pressure, we also take care of obesity. And uh, these are uh, anyone whose blood, uh, body mass index, we call it BMI for short, is greater than 30, as actually categorized as uh, obese. And there are measures that we do to help control this weight so that you can maintain a healthy weight. And these are things that we'll be talking more in details in this platform. And we will explain to you basic lifestyle that you can do that can make you maintain a healthy weight. And uh, some may ask, we, what is BMI? What is the thing, right? <laughs> So I can tell you a body mass index, it's called, so BMI stands for body mass index. And what that is, is a combination of your height and weight together that gives you a specific number. The reason we use it is because no matter what height or weight you are, that number is standardized. So even if you're tall, short, but your, your BMI is greater than 30, you're still, you're considered obese. It's not dependent on your necessarily on your absolute weight, but it's it's dependent on your weight as it compares to your height. 
So that's the important difference with a body mass index as opposed to just a weight. Yeah, and I know that you know there are some people who are muscular, and because of their muscles, they build muscles, they end up gaining, adding more weight. And could we use that as well, or should we just focus for those kind of people on their abdominal circumference and to just to make sure they are not falsely obese? You know, that's a, that's a good that's a good point, Grace. Uh, and. And I, I think one unique thing, though, is that people who have good, uh, significant, a significant amount of muscle are at that exercise more exactly, they usually do have a smaller waist circumference. So that is one of the measures that we can use to evaluate how healthy you are and you know, how healthy it is. So that is a very important point that you brought up. Great. So aside this, we also take care of osteoporosis, uh, which are weak bones, right? Um, we, we've seen osteoporosis even in younger women, and people that you least expect to have osteoporosis are also having osteoporosis. And these are things that we're also going to talk more about in the channel. Right. And, and one, sorry, one of the things about osteoporosis is it puts you at significantly increased risk of having a bone fracture. So, you know, many times we, uh, people can fall and, you know, as when we're children, we fall a lot, <laughs> you know, but yeah. kids don't really get bone fractures unless it's a very significant or severe fall. But people with osteoporosis, the slightest, uh, fall, or if they hit their, uh, bones you know in a certain uh way they can easily get a fracture and that is dangerous so we're going to be talking about the importance of having weak bones and the risks of fractures and how we can also help prevent that yes yes and then that reminds me that we we will also talking about vitamin d deficiency as it's getting common and uh, its role in helping your bones and building up your bones and uh, we'll talk about signs and symptoms that you should watch out for uh and uh, how you can monitor your vitamin d level great so um one last thing that i believe we we talk about in also is infertility which is uh it's, it's also a big problem uh, in the society and um uh, endocrinology has a big role to play also in infertility as there are cases of PCOS or congenital adrenal hypoplasia or just even from thyroid or hyperprolactin can mm. cause them to have infection. There are many things that you could fix and have uh, your reproductive organs functioning well from there. Very good. It's an interesting uh, combination of, of disorders you know, that we study as endocrinologists. Um, many of them are interrelated, like they may be related to each other. So mm -hmm. like the infertility, you could have an elevated prolactin from the pituitary gland that may affect the reproductive hormone and decrease your ability to become pregnant. So we're gonna be talking about how they relate to each other and, um, how treating the underlying pituitary disorder can also improve your fertility. So, you know, that could be very interesting. It doesn't necessarily seem related, but, but it is. Awesome. So I believe we have a lot to talk about and uh, we're going to help as many people anywhere you are in the u.s outside yours in africa in any continent you are this channel just subscribe to the channel and drop your question and comment below and we will be available every saturday to answer your questions and uh, we hope to get to start live soon whereby live you could ask us your question directly and we will be here to help you out. And, you know, we're doing this podcast primarily really for that reason, just yeah. that, you know, Grace saw a need that people really need help. You know, people want to know um, answers to some of these questions. 
And, you know, we got together. We, it's something that my husband has been talking about as well. So uh, when I spoke to Grace and she mentioned that, and then, it, you know, something that we had been thinking about, uh, we got together and thought that, you know what, we want to do something to really help people get answers. And, you know, maybe you're, you're, you don't have access to an endocrinologist or you have limited access to an endocrinologist. The purpose here is really to help inform you um, and, maybe, and also lead you to seek out treatment with an endocrinologist if needed. Um, but this is an informative platform to give you information to help get you on the right track so that you can uh, get your needs met and your questions answered. Great. And I'm so happy to be here as well. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again next Saturday. Uh, share and uh, subscribe and we will we'll see you next week. Take care. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. Thank you. Bye.